First, I want to do a domestic political story. Earlier today, I watched Peter Hamby on CNN, which is on over your head, say that, and I want to quote him correctly, you don't see a lot of Republicans rallying to Mike Pence's defense right now. That's a direct quote from Hamby. He's a great reporter talking about the Indiana, the Indiana Religious Freedom Act. What do you make of the controversy? Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, great company, had a blast at it in the Washington Post yesterday. What do you think? I think if you if they actually got briefed on the law that uh, they wouldn't be blasting this law. I think Governor Pence has done the right thing. Florida has a law like this. The Bill Clinton signed a law like this uh, at the federal level. This is simply allowing people of con- people of faith uh, space to be able to um, express their beliefs, to have uh, to be able to um, be people of conscience. I, I, I just I think once. The facts are established. People aren't going to see this as discriminatory at all. You know, the Religious Freedom Restoration Act was signed in 1993. It's been the law in the District of Columbia for 22 years. I do not know of a single incident of the sort that Tim Cook was warning about occurring in the district in the last 22 years. But there are incidents of people who, for example, the florist in Washington State who had a business that, based on her conscience, she couldn't be participating in in a gay wedding. Uh, organizing it, uh, even though the person, one of the people, was was a friend of hers, and uh, she was taken to court and still in court, or the photographer in New Mexico. There are many cases where people acting on their conscience have been have uh, been castigated by the government, and this law simply says the government has to have a level of of uh, a burden to be able to establish that there's been some kind of discrimination. I, I, we're going to need this. This is really an important value for our country to, in a diverse country, where you can respect um, and be tolerant of, of people's lifestyles, but allow for people of faith to be able to exercise theirs. Okay. Now, 